wonder why you look more like your mom than like your dad? Or do you know why you have brown eyes and brown hair instead of being blonde with blue eyes? Well, that's simple. Or maybe not, but let's see why. Well, it all began with Mandel, a monk in an Austrian monastery that crossed pea plants. And basing on his findings, he discovered three new laws of genetic. His first experiment consisted of crossing two pure green pea plants and seeing the result, which was one of them, with the green color. He did the same with yellow pure peas. What he did was to cross the result of the green one with the yellow one, and it was another green. He repeated the experiment and the result was three green peas and a yellow one, which means that the yellow gene wasn't lost, although the other was dominant and this one recessive. Mendel findings from his experiment led to the law of segregation. Each person has two genes that determine his or her characteristics in the case of your eye color. If your mother has two genes for her eye color and your father has another two, you can only have one gene from each parent. So, the law of segregation supports that the gene that you get from each parent is random. So, will you have your mom or your dad eyes? In this case, the eye color and the hair color genes are combined. So, the genes are inherited independently. Once upon a time, there lived a monk in an Austrian monastery. Well, more specifically, in 1860, Gregor Mandel discovered the genetic laws. And that is why he crossed pea plants with other pea plants and finally, he discovered that there were some patterns that to the inheritance of traits from one seed plant to the next, it had some things in common. So, he did the second thing I'm going to mention, the laws of inheritance. The first law, the law of dominance. The second law, the law of segregation. And the third law, the law of independent assortment. And that is how Gregor Mendel, the monk, and an Austrian ministry discovered genetic we all have.